Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Rushira. My today's video is going to be on Python's methods to add and remove elements from Python's list. There were several methods. Let's start. Oh, I should uh, mention that the environment I'm using is called Jupyter Notebook. Uh, I use this for tutorial purposes because it's uh, it shows very clearly the input and output uh, one by one uh, and it you see the um, output right away so I think it's very good for tutorial purposes but if you want please feel free to use any of the idea of your choice and uh, the result will be exactly the same so here a uh, C. I'm just making a list so that I can demonstrate some of the methods I wanted to demonstrate. Uh, L. Alright, this is the list. So let's see. This is how the list looks. Now I want to add something in this list. Say I, uh, I want to add um, probably uh, m m and uh, s dot append m so very straightforward method is append append and it takes uh, the parameter the element you want to add and by default it will add at the end okay look m is at the end and append method always add stuff at the end you cannot uh, add uh, any element in the beginning or middle uh, of the list but if you want if you want to uh, add something in the middle of the list uh, like say i want to add something here how do we do that i use insert method insert takes two parameter first one is the position so as I want to add something here, so 0, 1, 2. 2 is the position. And I will add bro, I I will add D. Okay. D. So let's see. This is how it looks now, right? Here is D. If you want to add something in the beginning, it's simple. Just add zero. Zero is the position. And I want to add maybe a number. So I added a number, one, in the beginning. So pretty simple. Now, what if I want to add multiple stuff? When multiple... Uh, element okay say i want to add two four six all of them in s how do we do that here i use extend method s dot extend n when i do n all the elements of n will be added at the end of s check here is how two, four, six, they all are added at the end of S. Now, what if I want to add this uh, list as, as a list itself, not individual elements like that, as a list itself nested inside this last list, okay? How can we do that? We can use insert, insert and uh, where are we going to add? Let's say I want to add after 1. Okay, 0, 1. Position 1. Put N. It is added as a list. So, these are all about adding. And now, let's see how we can remove elements from uh, a list. Plain and simple remove method okay now see remove what i let's remove g okay put g now see how s looks 
Look, G is gone. E, there is no G after E, it's K. It's K. Okay, there is another method that is called delete, del. This del method also use, um, oh, I mean, del method also can be used to remove stuff, but uh, by using the index. Okay, here if I want to delete C, how do you delete it? 0, 1, 2, 3. Look, when it's a list, it is considered as one element. So, it's all one. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? So, S3. I'm deleting S3. So, C is gone. Delete method can be used to delete several elements at a time. Like if I want to use these three elements, okay, these three elements, how can I do it? See, so, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, S, 6, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, it starts here, 6, 7, 8, I want to delete until so 8, 9, because I want to delete until the element 8, so I have to put actually 9. Alright, look, this 3 is gone, L, M, 2, they're all gone. So, and the indexing method, there are uh, I have a detailed uh, uh, tutorial on indexing. I put the link in the description box below. Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching. This is all for today. Bye-bye.